Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see how exam can be conducted in WP school system. So we'll go through step by step process. I hope this will be helpful. When you adopt WP school system, this will be helpful for you to conduct the examination and printing the mark sheet up to the migration of the students for the next level. So let's go through uh, the whole process. So once you log into the system, you will see the dashboard as admin. Uh, so this is admin dashboard. And as you can see on the menu, you know, the student evaluation is the uh, menu item where, you know, you will have the examination related all the options. So we have exams, exam hall, managing marks and grades, then the migration finally. So these are all the five links which you will use it. So let's first add the exam uh, in our system. So just click on the plus icon to add an exam. So these here you will give the examination name like mid-year exam or final exam or first semester exam whatever you want to like it uh, add and then select particular level or class uh, class 5 class 6 uh, and then you know add a section or something like that so we term then passing marks and total marks you can define then you can also have the start and end date of the exam you might have the exams for four or five subjects for 10 days that goes through 10 days so that you can add over here and you know some exam comments and exam syllabus if you want to provide some details to students for the exam you can upload file on exam syllabus so let's just uh, add uh, click on add button to add this particular exam so now we have added the exam successfully and the mid-year exam has been getting listed over here in the list now what we'll do is we'll check whatever data we have filled up is all okay if it is all okay then we can you know finally you know add the exam timetable so three first you will define the exam then you will add the exam timetable for a particular exam so we'll select uh, you know midterm exam from exam timetable by clicking plus icon click on manage exam time as you can see we have class 5 section a midterm start date ended currently we only have one subject but if you have multiple subjects you will see the multiple subjects over here where you can you know uh, define the exam date uh, you can also define the start date and time, start time and end time. So you might have two hours or three hours exam that you can define. Once you are done, you can just save the timetable. So this is how you define the exam timetable. You might have the multiple exams that, you know, by clicking on plus icons, you know, you will be able to add multiple subjects on the same exam. Uh, so we have just added one exam timetable now. We are back on exam uh, admin. Now we can just go and create exam whole ticket. So we might want to manage the exam halls first, then we'll create the exam hall ticket. So exam halls was uh, listed over here. Now I can just go. So you can also add a new exam hall, but for your reference, we have added a few uh, exam halls in the system. Now I'll just go and add exam hall this it. So I'll select the media exam for class five. I'll just click on search exam. The exam is here now. I can select the examination hall that is uh, we have added pre previously. Now all the students that is there in the system comes up in the list so I can see the not assigned exam hall students on the left whereas on the right you know whichever student is already assigned the exam hall tickets they will come on the right side. So you can you know click on all the students or click on particular students and then you can assign the exam hall. So hall 102 is being applied to Vakas, Ahmad and Zahid. I mean those are the two students as you can see. And you can just send an email so that this will send the exam hall tickets to these two particular students and that roll numbers and everything appears over. So we have successfully you know added the exam hall tickets for particular students. So this is how it can be done. So you manage the exam halls then create exam hall tickets and you know once you assign it just click on send email and that's been sent to those particular students now you know imagine you have the exams has been conducted now and you know it's time for adding the marks so evaluation is done now the teacher can add the marks for a particular exam so we'll select mid-year exam select like particular subject and then click on manage marks so you can also you know upload a csv file for all the students so that's a mass import uh, max kind of thing or you can add one by one so for here I think you know we can add a uh, uh, mark for Vakas Ahmad we can add comments as well that was it a good or was it bad whatever it is uh, so just for the facility so you can also write down grade or something like that so we can add uh, you know marks for particular subject for all the students 
and then you know you can click on update and you know it will add the marks for that particular class we've just added it now successfully and you know, as you can see on the uh, tab that is add multiple subject marks and export marks so using add multiple subject marks you can just upload a csv and you know you can also add multiple marks for multiple students directly in the system that will save you a lot of time you can also export the marks i mean whatever data you have entered you can also export that in a csv so that's a very additional feature or useful feature for you now we'll go and see i mean you, know, you can also once you have done the marking you know it's time for you to you know do the grading or migration so grading happens you know when sometimes you don't want to show marks but you want to show the grades so a plus or b plus or c plus so we can define the range so just go to grades and then add grade so for a particular uh, you know uh, marks range like 91 to 100 you might have the a plus or double a grade uh, so you know you can define those over here and when you come to the printing when you print the mark sheet you know this grade will apply so that's how the grades are being used uh, in this video we haven't shown the mark sheet but you know uh, later on we'll show another video how the mark sheets are getting generated but the grades can be printed on the mark sheet directly if you have defined it over here. Now let's look at the migration. So you might have the final exam where you know you have conducted the exam, final exam, and you, know, you can define the passing marks and you can whole class, all the students who have passed the exam, you can migrate them to the next standard or next level. So you just define the passing mark over here in the migration module and the migration can be completed successfully just by clicking on the go button. Uh, we'll just see how the students who have just uh, recently we have entered the marks are they migrated so they are now migrated the first three students in the list migrated to class six they were in class five because they had more than 35 marks that's how they have successfully completed their class five and they were now migrated to the next level so thank you for watching the video is how we conduct the exam right from examination schedule examination hall hall tickets marks grades and finally the migration of course you can print the mark sheet in the system so it's the best system if you want to manage the marks if you want to digital transformation of your school this is how you actually do everything on one system i highly recommend the system and you know use this video guide to if you are a user of wp school use this video guide to set up your examination thank you thanks for watching